Hello, everyone. Okay, so um, I see one person's online. Nope, no one's online. Okay, I'm going to start. <clears throat> so today's live stream will focus on scheduling and deploying content onto your board. First, I'm going to run through the tabs at the top to give some insight on what each one does. Once we've run through all the tabs in some depth, I will move on to show you two ways you can schedule and deploy ads quickly and efficiently onto your display. All right, so the first one is players. Once you click this tab, you will see your players or players listed below. You can click on your players and it will display four tabs. Info, settings, layouts, and map. Um, for info, under this tab, you will see your players or player listed below. All the info will be under here. Um, some info will include the player width and height, so you know the um, sorry, <laughs> so you know the dimensions that your creative should be at for this board. Um, under settings. We'll have the name of the player and the pixel dimensions. The pixel dimensions are important as you will need to have every creative specified to that size. If the creative is spec to this aspect ratio, it will be displayed perfectly onto your board. Try to stay within those pixel dimensions if you can. If you would like to go a bit more in depth on pixel dimensions and creative sizes, please comment and we can discuss this on another live stream in the future. Under layouts, in this tab, you'll have the ability to split your screen into different zones or sections. For example, if you're looking to have a ticker at the bottom of your screen, you would set and design this in this tab. If you'd like to go a bit more in depth on this, please let us know and we can discuss this as well on another live stream. Under the map tab, this shows you exactly where the player is physically located in the world. I'm going to move on to the media tab. So the two buttons you can see right here are your viewing options. This will give you the ability to view your media library as either a small list, how it's displayed here, or a larger view. The filter by button allows you to filter how you view your media within the library. You have the option to filter your media by either name, date, type, deployed media only, or active priority deployed media. The new folder button allows you to create a new folder. You may want to use this to organize all of the advertiser's media into one place. For example, if you have an advertiser who cons constantly updates their creative, instead of overwhelming your media library, they can be stored within this folder. Um, <clears throat> the Add Media button allows you to add media. Once you click this tab, a window will pop up allowing you to upload media from your computer or the ability to drag and drop files in. If you have templates or a URL you'd like to add, this is where you would upload them as well. We can go into this further later on. The Add Media Group <coughs> button allows you to group multiple creative files into a sub-playlist. Once you click this tab, a window will pop up allowing you to group creative files together into one playlist. Um, for example, if you have an advertiser who wishes to play more than one creative for their spot, say McDonald's has the option of one 15-second spot per loop, but they wish to have three separate creatives, you would group them in a bundle and schedule them to play in a particular order or at random. If you want to hear more about media groups, please comment and we can also discuss this further in another video. We'll move over to the Templates tab. This tab is used to create or edit existing creative. Templates is a term I got you uses for their designer software. Let's say you want to create your own creative files or an advertiser wants text images overlaying their creative, you could design this in the template section. If this is something you feel you may need to use, please comment and we will have a separate training session on this in the future. Most advertisers already have their designs made. The feeds tab is used to integrate live feeds such as sports or weather into a creative to display live on the board. For example, if an advertiser wants to have live score updates embedded in the creative when a game is live, this is where you would set and create this info. If this is something you feel you may need to use, please comment and we will have another training session. The last tab is reports. This tab allows you to view and create reports for your advertisers. In this tab, you will see a list of various reports, proof of play, deployments, IT, and sessions. 
These are all customizable depending on the player, advertiser, and creative. If this is something you may feel you may need to use, please comment and we can go further on this in another training session. Most of you will be using this software to add, schedule, and deploy creative only. So now I will take some time to show you two ways of accomplishing this. The first way I, I will show you is through the Players tab. <coughs> Sorry. As you can see on the right hand side is a scheduler. This will show you what is playing today. To schedule and deploy content onto this player, start by adding content. A pop-up window will appear allowing you to add your media file. From here, you can either scroll through your library and select the media file you wish to load or click the add media tab which will pull up a pop-up window allowing you to upload and drag and drop media from your computer. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to scroll through my library and select the Media Resources 1 file. If it's in here. Okay, I don't have it in here, so I'm going to upload the Alberta file. <clears throat> scroll below and you'll be able to customize your scheduling for this piece of creative. Um, to set specific start and end dates, unclick the Play Forever button. Then you'll be able to adjust the dates you wish to play. For example, I'm gonna to start today and end on Monday. <clears throat> to set specific days of the week, unclick the all days box. You'll then be able to set, to set a start and end time you wish to create it. <laughs> sorry. You will then be able to select the days you want it to play. For example, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. To set specific times of the day, unclick the all day box. You'll then be able to set a start and end time you want the creative to play. To set the creative in a specific place on the player, for example, you want it to play first or fifth, you would enter it in this position box on the right. If you want this creative to play multiple times within a loop or playlist, you would enter this number in the box under number of plays per loop. Once you're finished scheduling the creative, hit the deploy button in the bottom right and your creative will go onto the player and will be live for whenever you scheduled it. In this instance, I've scheduled the creative to start today. Once I hit deploy, it will appear live on my board. <coughs> Um, once you hit deploy, it will take you back to the players page where you can see your schedule. This is how you would schedule from the players tab. I will now show you the second way you can deploy creative and that's right from the media page. As you can see, all your media that you have previously uploaded will be in the media library. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to upload a photo from my desktop. Add media, choose files, Desktop. <clears throat> um, I got you. So I just want to take a note to let you all know. I got you is able to support many file types, such as PNG files, JPEG, dot movie, and MP4 files. Once it's uploaded, a pop-up window will appear that will allow me to customize my scheduling for this piece of creative. First, you want to indicate which player or players you want the creative to play on. Since I just have one, I will select the plus button beside my player. Um, once you've selected the player, it will appear at the bottom, at the side in the player selected file. Just like in the players tab, this window allows you to set specific dates, times, days of the week, position, and place per loop. Once you've finished scheduling the creative, hit the deploy button. And, and it will go onto the player that you've selected for the dates that you've selected it to go live for. Um, when you upload and schedule a creative in the media folder, it will take you back to the media page. If I scroll to the file I just uploaded, sorry, just ref 
refresh it. <clears throat> So once I've scheduled a creative, um, I can go over here and it will show me um, that it's playing on a specific board. This button, this little icon here indicates that it's scheduled onto a board. If I click the drop down menu here, this will give me info on my creative. So what it's called and how many seconds I want it to play. And as you can see, it's playing on player one between nine and five Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. <clears throat> All right, so that is simply how you schedule creative with I Gotcha. Um, if you have any questions or comments, we are live and we'll be taking any comments um, at this time. thing I want to point out to you as you can see in the players page with my schedule here this only shows what's playing for today so as you noticed I only scheduled specific things to play on specific dates so if I was to go to my Sunday my schedule will be a lot different than it was before some things may be missing so just ensure if you're setting specific dates for scheduling that when you're looking at the schedule viewer it shows what date you're looking at Although this live stream is live, um, they're all recorded, so if you need to take some time, I know I speak really fast, um, you can take some time later to rewatch the videos. We also have a couple more um, that are a bit slower and touch on other things, so please be sure to check out our previous videos, um, and as well, just keep commenting and let us know if there's anything further you need us to touch on. Our service department is always available if you have any questions, and you can contact them by service at mediaresources.com. Um, also in the info, there's also um, Axel's email address. He's our creative specialist. So if you have any creative questions, he's your go-to. All right, so we're gonna sign off here for now, but we're gonna stay within the chat. So if you have any questions, we'll be sure to answer you. Thank you again for signing on and we'll see you next week.